All right, guys, hello, welcome to the video. So I know people hate this, but we're going to skip the first about three minutes of this game. Literally, the only thing that I have done in this game is sit in this bush, spot some people, and we got two shots on the P43 in our Boris Kier on Ghost Town, right? That is all that has happened in the last three and a half minutes, other than our team kind of pushing this western side of the map. Um, and it looks like enemy team is kind of winning here on the east. They have their Boar and AMX 1375 over here, and that's it. That's all you really need to see, guys. There's nothing more important um, to note here. Um, and I want to save you guys a little bit of time because this game is going to come down all the way to the end, right? So we're going to have an at least 12 minute video um, pretty much from here on out, unless I decide to fast forward a little bit more. So I'm advancing on Ghost Town on my Borisk. I'm running this thing, by the way, with Bond Vents, the improved aiming and V-Stab here with the V-Stab. Um, I think it's called Calibration or something like that. Um, and basically, I think, or like stabilizer greasing, or whatever the heck it's called, guys. So we are getting effectively um, a 25% reduction in our um, aiming, right? Um, in in the speed of aiming, right? And um, dispersion reduction, I should say, right? When we're moving our, our gun and such. So I feel like vertical stabilizer is going to be your best bet when it comes to the Borisk. I have to emphasize this because the aiming time is so long on the Borisk that I really think this is your best bet. In fact, I would almost want to see somebody um, run improved aiming just to see if that actually works because this is well, um, the aim tuner or whatever the heck it's called. You guys know what I'm talking about? The thing that actually increases the speed of your aiming because this is this is the actual like improved aiming module. But I think you guys understand. I think it's called like enhanced gun lane drive or whatever fancy term they um, put for that piece of equipment. I would almost consider running it only on this tank. But the thing is, when you're running this piece of equipment for the aiming, it's almost essentially doing the same thing because if the reticle is going to be slightly smaller right um when you're fully aimed um then that means that if you take the shot a little early right effectively you're going to it's going to be the same thing as if you ran in the enhanced gun lane drive if you guys understand what i'm saying here hopefully you're going you're going along with what i'm saying but it's kind of confusing to 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 explain and put to words but in my mind it makes sense where you would want to have the improved aiming module anyway, but I would love to see a test if someone ran this on the Borisk to see if the enhanced gun lane drive would actually do something more than, you know, this improved aiming module. But anyway, guys, um, this game is going to get really, really good. Um, and pretty much what ends up happening is it ends up being me against a few people at the end and I won't spoil the end for you, I won't say if it's a win or a loss yet, but what I can tell you is um, the game comes all the way down to the wire, and I want to use this game as an example to show people how powerful this vehicle can be. I um, wasn't even looking here at the FV, I was trying to wait to see if this IS was going to poke around the corner, but we're able to clean up the FV. He got way too aggressive there, we take one hit from him, it is what it is, um, and we get a kill out of that. So we're at 921 damage, 1200 spotting, we have six spots. And again, all of this just came from me sitting in this one bush right here. I literally did nothing other than sit in that bush for the first three minutes of the game. Um, and that's why I wanted to skip it. So now we're in a situation where I want to try and advance with these guys. But like, it's tricky, right, man? Um, you don't want to just run out here and get whacked by tank destroyers. Ghost Town, it can be a tricky map, right? And now Boar is here, so I'd also like to help my comment out. By the way, this is a 7-8 game. I don't know if I announced that at the beginning like I normally do. And in this 7-8 game, especially in a 6-7-8 game, the Borisk is like the most OP tank that you can be in, right? So now that we had one medium push this, I know that there's very likely no one else sitting here. The E25 had to come down. So I'm going to run around, just in case someone still is sitting there, I'm going to run around over here and then try and come through like this. The T20 and the Type 59 have no HP. Um, also wanted to try and get shots at this XM66. I think he thinks he's safe here. I take one into him there. See how slow the aiming is? I take another one into him there because he didn't move. And luckily they both go in kind of to like the lower plate there. Another thing I want to note about the Boris is it's also kind of dependent on its gold rounds, right? 
Like, this just doesn't have great pen. You're probably going to want to run the APCRs. Gold APCRs, rather. Um, but it's a premium. So, like, does it really matter that much, you know? If you're loading full gold and you're doing 360 damage a shot anyway, um, like, if you hit the shots, then you're going to get refunded in coin anyway, right? So I'm looking at the IS here, seeing if, um, you know, I can... Uh, can hit him but obviously he's behind buildings and now we're going to be able to get a shot into the e25 and clean him up i'm annoyed that the boris was able to get me there as i'm kind of coming down um he must have hit me in the turret i guess it was or, or whatever but he's able to get a shot into me there and now what i would like to do is try and go after this guy as he's running away because if i can hit this guy and he gets hit there by someone if i can clean this guy up that's going to be big for our team so i'm able to get two shots into him there and then Talk about RNG leaving this guy at 1 HP, right, man? I mean, it's just absolutely ridiculous. But someone's able to clean him up, and we want to eliminate an enemy Borsk. Unfortunately, they have two of them, and that's going to become a, a slight problem later on. You will see that. Um, but we want to eliminate enemy Borsks, right? I mean, these things are lethal. So here's their Borsk. He's got 1,118 HP. This is going to be a big issue for me. Um, I'm going to try my best. I'm only at 562, so this guy can easily two-shot me here. Mars is over here. I think I do end up taking shots at this guy. I'm trying to get behind the bushes, hoping that he does not spot me. Now I'll give you my camera view. I'm going to see if I can get shots into this guy as he's coming around the corner here. Try and help these guys out. I'm going to auto-lock it. Unfortunately, that one doesn't go in. And now what I want to do before um, I do anything else is poke this bush because I want to know where the Borisk is right away. And there he is. He's coming in, right? So now we're in a situation where I'm on reload. This Borisk spots me here. He can get two shots into me and clean me up. I need to run away from this guy. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to completely run away from him. And even if we stand toe-to-toe, -to -toe, right, like if he puts two shots into me, I'm done because I only have 562 HP. And this is what's so effective with the Borisk. It's like people could be literally at half HP and you can easily just take them right out of the game, right? Um, and so you, you also have to be very, very careful when you play the Borisk because it's likely that you'll be against an enemy Borisk because like everyone plays this vehicle because it's so freaking OP, man. Um, but I have to note the aiming time. The aiming time, like this gun is so bad, but I don't complain about it because I know that Wargaming had to make the gun really inaccurate or derpy because if they made it accurate, this tank would literally be like the only tank people play in the game, right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to poke up in this bush. I would like to outspot this Borisk. I could try and help the Comet here, but I'm just a little bit too late, right? I don't want this Borisk flanking me. I think the better move would have been for me to go over and help my Comet. And I tried to tell him, like, come over, come towards me, right, um, later on. And unfortunately, now the Boris goes over to get him. So it would have been a better move for me to, you know, obviously be there to help him. But I didn't want him flanking me. So it's like, what can you do, right? Um, and then the T20 would have also had shots if he, the Boris tried to push me. So you just don't know what people are going to do. So I'm trying to get the Comet to come towards me, like, just run towards me so that the Boris at least has to overextend. But it just wasn't the case, man. Like, he kind of just stayed there. As soon as the Boris was spotted, I wanted this guy to start coming towards me. Like, run this way. Um, and it sucks, man, because I think he was kind of on this side, like, in here. And, like, if he ran away, maybe he would have put it would have put him in the line of fire. I don't know. But I just wish this guy came closer to us so we would have been able to support him a little bit better. But it is what it is, man. Like, I made the decision I made to stay here. I could have... You know, I could have... Um, put in the same effort and went to support him instead right but it's just the decision i made because i didn't know where the Borisk was and this guy only has to get two shots into me and i'm dead right so it's like it's really tricky guys you know sometimes you, you make one decision and depending on how it goes then people will get mad at you like if it goes one way they'll be like oh wow great play and if it goes the other way they'll shit on you um so like you know it is what it is like you don't you don't have a crystal ball you don't know what people are going to do but I'm going to try and make up for it now and start going to defend the base. And the T20 can stay over there if he wants. Like, I need to defend the base at this point. So it is, it is what it is. And I'm going to start running this way. AMX 1375, I believe, lights me here. He's somewhere in this area um, or maybe even like up here already. I get lit here. I'm kind of surprised because I have a lot of concealment. Um, I'm not even running the low noise exhaust, but I mean, still, it's like almost 40% concealment or something like that. Um, 
on the move it might be like in the 30s but like i'm not i'm just was not expecting to get spotted there so i'm going to go dark borsk ends up down here so now i know it's a 1375 that's spotting me there's no way the crusader sp would out, out light me here so it's the 1375 somewhere in this area and now at this point i need to try and clean up the amx 1375 so i'm going to start running this way i get lit here and now i know it was 1375 sitting in this area but i need to press this guy before the borisk gets to me here right because the borisk is going to start yoloing this way to try and get shots into me so you can see he's taking one there already like that's how freaking op this thing is and then he hits me again how this guy was able to get a shot to me here like he must have just guessed where i was and took a blind luckily at low rolls but like this is ridiculous man the fact that this guy was all the way over here and then like 30 seconds later he's up here taking shots into me i'm on the red line right and like this is what i mean about this tank man this thing is just so ridiculously op and it's not good at really taking shots when people are on the move but this guy was able to hit me here and it's just it's ridiculous man it's ridiculous how freaking op this thing is i mean i have like a 66 percent win rate in this vehicle and wargaming doesn't think that's like a problem you know <laughs> like able to clean up the amx here the borisk is not going to have shots I need to focus this shot on the Crusader. I'm able to hit him there. And now we need to keep moving because the Boris is going to continue to come after me. He obviously has me on HP. Now he only needs to put one shot into me and I'm dead. So I need to keep running away from this guy, moving away from this guy. I have five kills, 2,876 damage, 1,200 spawning. And we still have obviously the six spots. Um, and now I need to try and outsmart this Boris because I need to put like three shells into this guy, minimum three rounds rather into this guy, um, minimum in order to clean him up unless I light him on fire or rack him, right? And so now we need to get creative with game mechanics. And what am I thinking? Well, I'm gonna park in the bush line here because it's very likely this guy is going to continue coming this way after me. There's only a minute left in the game. He, It's very unlikely he'll go around the other way, right? So I'm gonna park in the bush line here. And what's amazing about what happens here is this guy was following me so closely that by the time I get in this bush line, I mean, I am waiting a few seconds, but I don't end up spotting this guy until he's literally over here. I'm thinking I'll spot him coming like this, but the Borisk has so much freaking camo that I I don't spot him until he's literally up here. But luckily I'm far enough in the bush line. You can see where I'm at. I'm in the bush line enough where I can outplay this guy now, basically, at least with these two shots. So I'm gonna hit, hit him once here gonna hit him again and now i just need one shell into this guy but i need to run away from him because he can return fire right so now i need to use the bushes to try and stay hidden from this guy there's only 15 seconds left i don't even think i was going to be able to reload in time i just got i think within seconds i was able to reload um i had like yeah like four three or four seconds left so like yeah three seconds and i'm just gonna take a blind because at this point it's like what do i have to lose right i might as well just try and take a shot at this guy i know he's pressing me and we're just not able to hit him or spot him or whatever there. So it ends in, it actually ends in a draw, guys. We did 3571 damage. And anyone could say what they want about this, this replay, right? Like, oh, you could have done this, you could have done that. And I always tell you guys that I am not an Ayuksin, right? I'm not a Kaizu. I'm not a I'm not a Unicom player, right? But at the end of the day, you don't know what plays certain people are going to make. And you could go do play a and it succeeds or, or you could go do um play b and it succeeds or um you know either one wouldn't work right or one would have worked and one wouldn't have worked you know it's like anyone can say what they want but you don't have a crystal ball you don't know what people are going to do and i always play as safely as i can um and try to defend rather than attack you know in most situations that's just the way i play i'm very defensive because that's how a lot of times i'm able to bring games back right it's just by playing defensively um always trying to get the first shot opportunities rather than being the one attacking it's just how i play man i just i like to try and use the game mechanics to the best of my ability sit in bushes and and just try and be patient right because that's how i've gotten better at this game and again people can say what they want about it but that's my uh, that's always my take on it at the end right it's like you just don't know you don't know what play is going to work until you see the entire game and you guys are watching this game right after the whole thing um has already happened and you've seen everything that's happened and you can just go oh well I'll just do this next time or you could have just done this right but you guys have already seen the entire replay so that's just something i always have to share when i 
show these really close ones that I wish I could have won, right? So here's the end plates, guys. Again, 12, 8, actually a little more spotting blind, barely anything, but 12, 18 spotting, 35, 71 damage. And um, this was getting close to 5k combined. What is this, like 4,800 combined or something like that? Um, so it wasn't a bad game at all, but I just wish we could have won it. Um, top eye experience here, top eye damage, type 59, played a pretty good game as well. And that's it for this one, guys. That's it. I just really want to emphasize to you guys how freaking OP this tank is, man. At this time, I played 94 battles in this thing. Only 2172 damage. This is starting to go up. I've been doing more damage in this tank as I've gotten more comfortable with it. But even then, 65% win rate. And like Wargaming doesn't see an issue with this. <laughs> like Wargaming really doesn't see an issue with this, man. A player that normally has a 57% win rate having a 65% win rate in this vehicle. And I'm not even an expert in mediums, right? I know this kind of plays like a light. That's another thing. It, this tank literally, I freaking kid you guys not, this tank has more concealment than most light tanks at tier 8 with the other setup that I run, right? I can't show you here because it's, you know, obviously I'm not in the game, but I'm pretty sure when I run bounty, um, low noise exhaust the stationary concealment is like 52 percent in this vehicle 490 view range with bounty optics as well and uh, like 40 whatever percent um moving camo right like this thing is so freaking op man like you can literally outplay light tanks at tier 8 9 and even even tier 10 like on some on some maps like you could literally outplay light tanks I mean, it is just wild that you're able to put um, CVS on mediums. I don't agree with it. I do not think you should be able to run CVS on mediums. Everyone's argument for that as well, Worlds, if there's no light tanks in the game, I'm like, exactly. That's exactly my point. If there's no light tanks in the game, then there's no light tanks in the game. The whole point of light tanks is to spot and to scout, right? Um, I'm one of those players that likes to do a lot of damage now in my lights because there's a lot of maps that... You just don't really have to um, scout, honestly. You know, people with like 46% win rates are going to tell you to go scout. And you're like, dude, um, it's Abby. Like, what do you want me to scout? You know what I mean? Um, it's Pilsen, you know. Pilsen, okay, we do have the, the one bush line on the, on the side there. But you guys get my point. Like, it, this thing is just so OP. I'm just going to end with that because I can ramble on and this video has already been long. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.